Lesson one, getting to know the work area, part two. Now we're gonna work a little bit more in our areas. First thing to always note is preferences. File, um, Illustrator, preferences. You have units, I mentioned rulers earlier, and you can change the measurement for a particular document if you have it open, and also, your preferences from your entire machine, if you have no documents open, which I clearly don't right now, you could change this to inches and it would default and, or millimeters, however you measure. And the important thing about that is have no documents open, quit the program and restart it and it will remember. Um, otherwise, it'll just be uh, changing for this one session and this one instance. If you want a permanence of any of these types of things that are in preferences, you know, you can uh, really look uh, through here, but how you measure type, how you measure your space, these are important things to know at the ends, um, at the outset. Um, this will uh, be something you'll want to reset, especially if you're on an unfamiliar machine um, or sharing. So that, that said, um, now we're in inches. We have in these files for lesson one, two artboards. Now when I press my space bar, I get my Mickey Mouse grabber hand, and you see it sort of closes and lets me move this around. The other thing to note is this has two artboards. If you have your artboard menu, it's not showing, window, artboards should be checked on or off, then they'll disappear. Window is a good thing that I always point students to because if you can't find something, whether you've reset your workspace, whatnot, always go to your window for, to find the things you need to see. So it's kind of like a window, if you're gonna see if somebody's coming up to your door in your apartment or your home, you would look out your window and you can find anything you need to find out. Um, so it's a very good thing to remember. So in this, um, you, we went through the plus and minus, so you're going zooming in. We go, we went, we're going to go to Y view and we're going to note a few things here. It's not letting me click on it. I'm selecting all, I'm using my direct selection, I'm using my uh, hollow arrow too. So now I've deduced that the objects on the page are locked. So go to object, unlock all. Now I'm in um, the artwork view. Then when I click on certain items like this set of trees, I'll notice they're grouped. In order to always remember nothing is affected unless it's selected, but I, oh, let's say I wanna affect, change the color of one of these trees. My client doesn't like this dark green, even though it looks great in this layout, uh, it's not in their branding color. So in order to select that, I would need to ungroup and then I could go in my direct selection and I could change that to a more, uh, oops, that's my stroke. Don't make that error. I was showing you something about stroke last time and it remembers what you did last. And let's say I wanted to match the more, um, the, the brush in the cactus here. So there we've got that, that chance, but we have to first unlock all six ungroup, uh, to ungroup and uh, be able to affect that. And you'll see it's sort of hovering over it. Now, a curious thing about this layout, you have your instructions, you'll go through it yourself, but something to note and always check, again, the key importance of Command Y, artwork view. This is, if you drag your selection, these are not actually letters now. Now they have turned into artwork or drawings of letters, which is an important thing. Usually if you're working, kind of equivalent to a Photoshop document, PSD layered file versus a JPEG or compressed. In this sense, Illustrator is the same. And the thing that, the file that has the actual live type in your text tool, um, Welcome to Val's Illustrator. So this is actual live letters. You'll notice it's black. There's a little X here. And these are white and they're little items of art that you can direct select. Now I wanna keep, just as I made the parallel to the Photoshop layered file, I wanna keep a file, it's, they always still have their layers, 
but you want to keep an active file even if you're outputting and going to the printer or you're putting it to the saving it for the website you need to have something you can change so note once you get rid of your active text always keep a file you could keep this as the AI and then save out your flattened file or your outlined file as an EPS it's key that you can always change something in case there was a spelling error or something changes over time. Don't, don't back yourself into a corner by making your copy into outlines. So in order to get this like this, you would select that. You go to type, create outlines. So now it's art, but you need to save a file that you can edit, an editable file. Um, it's a very important thing. And um, scrolling through, you can go like this. You can go to your menu, go to your artboards. We've gone over changing the view, the navigation panel. Um, anytime you're looking for something just as I was showing you, like for example, with the ellipsis tool, and there is this little carrot or arrow. Anytime there's a carrot, that means there's more. So comparably over here on your panels tabs, there's a little hamburger menu with an arrow. Also just means more. So a lot of times you can find something in multiple locations, which sounds confusing, but just everybody works in a certain way. Um, here you could go in and find something in the menu instead of having to scrub through all of these menus where everything is. If you're looking for something related to character, you can then look in this menu there. So that's another thing. So there's more tools hiding behind the default set. And of course, up here is your, your panel attributes where they repeat some of the things that are over in these panels, but they're just spread out up here for more visual uh, workers. There's different temperaments of uh, how people, um, their workflow and their learning styles. So there's different ways to approach it, which is the beauty of Adobe software and its uh, strength and power. So go through your exercises, explore on your own if you have the time at the end, and there's a board and a forum for any questions if I can help you out, and welcome to Illustrator.